Okay, so the project at hand today is painting this room. And we're going to change the purple and the gray to a much more satisfying color. Also, in here, we're going to take these plain closet doors and paint them white. And they'll look a lot better then. Also, inside the closet, we're going to paint these shelves. Also, the walls, um, the door jams. But this room should be a good transformation, so let's get started. All right, so we got everything out of the room that needs to come out. This desk in the center, it's gonna go back in the corner. So we can leave it here. It's not necessarily in the way. And uh, got the closet cleaned out. Now, we also have a little bit of a rot going on on this windowsill, so we'll scrape that up and put some exterior paint on that as well. Forgot to move the painting. Now, you can see the previous owners, they painted this room purple up top and they left some uh, lovely purple paint on the floor because they, uh, they didn't really care if they uh, splashed around. Also, this floor is pretty scratched up too. You can definitely see a lot of wear marks, but we'll get that fixed up too. So the first thing for this room, I'm gonna tackle these uh, closet doors. All right, got the first coat on both the doors and uh, let's do the shelving now.
Alright, so all the walls in the closet are going to match the color of the wall that we paint this color. And all the shelving is going to be white. So this is the last shelving and I'm just going to do it in place here. Okay, that upper shelf is all painted and the walls are going to get painted so I didn't really cut in too closely as I'm just going to paint over with color. Alright, let's go do another coat on the doors and the shelves outside. All right, so now we can uh, work on the top color and get rid of that awful purple. But before we do that, I noticed the homeowners before they like to leave uh, drips in their paint, so we can sand that out real quick. There's a couple spots over here too. But we'll fix that up. All right, so I gotta change the paper on the sander, and this one was the old one that had holes in it, and you wanna make sure there's no holes in your paper, otherwise it'll start chewing through the bottom of your sander. And uh, sandpaper is cheap compared to the bottom of a new sander. So just make sure it's always uh, fresh. All right, now, that's a lot smoother. It looks like it's bumpy, but it's, it's actually smooth now. That's just the paint color before under it. Now the paint will apply nice and smoothly on top of that. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, a few more runs over here that we could touch up. Oh, it's a big one here. box here. I'm going to cut it up and use it for a flooring protector. Another good reason why to save cardboard. Now, the homeowners before, they didn't do this and you can see there's just paint spots all over the floor which will have to be sanded out but I'm just going to protect the floors so when I do go to sand and refinish, 
it's a lot uh, less work. So I'm gonna cut this up. All right, let's get rid of this purple now. Check this out. You could really see the runs from the previous owner. Now that dark purple, it hit a lot of the runs, but now this lighter color is showing this previous run. As you can see, that's not, that's not wet, that's hard. All right, the first coat of the top half is all the way done, all the way around. And uh, we're gonna need to do a second coat on that, but we could start that same color in the closet now for the walls. All 
Alright, so I was painting the closet and I noticed there was a pretty big hole. So uh, I'll patch that up. Alright, here's the hole with a little bit more light on it. Easy fix. Alright, I got that hole patched up and that's going to need a couple coats of joint compound not the sand in between, but while we're waiting for that to dry, uh, let's continue painting. Alright, time to tackle the second half of this closet. Okay, so the pearl color is up on the wall, and now we can replace the gray with some bright white. Alright, so all the base gray 
is all painted white for the first coat. And now we can start working on the second coat. All right, now for the second coat, to paint this top edge, I'm gonna take a uh, spackle knife and then take my paintbrush and run it all the way down. And hopefully that could help keep a straight line without having to meticulously cut in and it could save some time. But that's the plan at least. So let's give it a try. All right, second coat for the walls. Time to put the doors back on. Okay, now this door wedge is installed and this just keeps the doors inside the tracks. And that prevents it from shaking back and forth. Shelf time. All right guys, so this room is completed now. We put pearl color on the wall. We put bright white on the uh, wood paneling down below. We have the desk in the corner like before. We have the exercise bike as well. And uh, we cleaned up these doors because before they were uh, wood color. So it modernized them a little bit. And then in there we have the closet and we painted the shelves. This side got painted as well. And uh, I'll show some before and after pictures of how this uh, room turned out. All right, let's go do something else.